guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel today's thursday august 3rd um it's 11 15 right now i just woke up my skin is so dry right here okay we're gonna fix that these are like i had these two pimples for like two or three days and i put some tretin-a on them <clears throat> the past two nights and that's why they're drying out like this my whole skin is dry currently um uh, at my parents house and um I'm home alone so I was going to go outside and go on a little walk too. so today kind of just playing it by ear I was going to go outside like I said go on a walk um it looks nice outside the sun is out and it's 76 degrees right now I'm gonna eat breakfast first later on I'm gonna go um, pick up my cousin from the airport. I didn't bring my tripod, so I've kind of been like, just setting things randomly, so bear with me with the angles today. Uh, what am I doing? Oh. We have this pizza. It's so good from Pizza Hut. Basic, but. I just came back from the walk. It was wonderful. The weather's great. I walked for about 72 minutes, so um, a little over an hour. I walked 1.8 miles and I burned 233 calories and it was great. Ready right now time is 1 1 1:15. Um I had a virtual meeting with a station. Um I found her on TikTok and she does these free virtual consultations. Um, and she's black and she just talks about skincare, um, black women friendly, all these good things. Um, I think any, honestly, any race friendly, but I really, really enjoyed her TikTok topics that she was talking about. I literally binge watched and then I signed up for the free virtual consult. And <clears throat> today I spoke with her. We ended up getting on a call and i was just telling her i had acne for a very very long time um in high school it wasn't as bad high school i just get like pimples here and there on my cheeks um and that would be it after i graduated high school my skin decided to just go crazy i no idea what happened from that period when i graduated high school through college um, it was really bad. It was just really bad. So I was like breaking out like my cheeks, my neck, under my chin, my forehead. Um, occasionally I'll get pimples on my nose. Like it was just bad. Um, and then I went through multiple dermatologists and none of them could figure it out. They just told me like start taking birth control to help with the acne. I was like, I'm not taking birth control don't want to take birth control um so finally three years ago i found this black dermatologist and i went to him paid my little fee because he wasn't covered by insurance y'all my first appointment i walked in there this guy looked at my skin he was just like hmm, 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 hmm. 
did his little notes and he's like I know the products we're gonna give you put wrote a prescription I went and picked it up the sofa cleanser been using it ever since my skin um, it's not great like right now I'm sweaty and I have sunscreen on but my skin has been better I was just very grateful like we're not a hundred percent there we're like we're like 80% there we're not a hundred percent we're 80% and so the reason for me getting on this call was because ever since I could remember I've always had oily skin but the oiliness I get like from here like literally my whole cheeks and my forehead I will be so oily that was my main concern and my texture you guys can't really see it as much on camera but yeah you can so you guys can see here if I go really close my nose is really dry but um you see the texture you can see like the dots you can see my pores so I was telling the lady on the phone today I was telling her if we could figure that out and get that result I will be a happy woman as far as my skin goes Honestly, I am ready to invest in my skin, whatever will help, because we're only getting older and we want the best skin possible, you know? Angle, the angle, the angle. That back there is my inspiration board. They had us make this um, in nursing school my first year. Basically, something to remind you of why you started nursing school and the going gets tough you look at that board and you keep going so on there my reason was um mi madre and my padre um and then my siblings um do it for do it for my parents mostly because this country is not easy oh this america is not easy oh so, if you can do something in the long run, help your parents out, do it. But also do it for you. Because nursing is not easy, okay? From my last video, if you guys watched that, this video right here, um, up there, in the little cards thing, or whatever you call that thing that pops up, if you guys look up, nursing is not easy. Um, so, if you're gonna do a, go through a field that is hard do it for you don't do it for your parents um, or don't do it just for your parents also do it for you but he's they give me this as a gift for finishing clinical um, they give all of our cohort but this was mine it has my name on it and it was just nice I like it just a symbol of finishing clinical um, this is the shorts that I got on Fablet. I got at Fabletics. If you guys haven't watched that video, the try on video would be up first before this one. So check that out. I'll tag it right here, so check it out. Um, I talked about these leggings. So it has this little cool pocket. Uh, I went out wearing the shorts and I was like, I'm gonna use the pockets because it's so convenient. So. It's right here. <laughs> Look y'all. I put my granola bar in there. Like it fits perfectly. And it's it's literally not on me. Like this is where the granola bar is. It fits perfectly. The thing, the only annoying thing with this is when you're running, walking outside, you're sweating. So I came upstairs and I was like Oh, I still have the granola bar. <laughs> so I'm like touching back here and it's all sweaty. I don't know if I recommend keeping food back there. Um, but hey, if I was starving and this was the only thing I had while I was walking, I will eat it. It's my sweats. I don't care. <laughs> so just FYI, okay? We showered, we clean, we looking fresh. Hey guys, so today is a different day. Um, yesterday I didn't close out the vlog at all. Today is uh, Friday, August 3rd, I believe. And um, I know yesterday I said I was gonna go pick up my cousin from the airport, but 
she ended up missing her flight and she got here this morning we already picked her up the time right now I think it is almost 1 p.m. it's after 2 15 um, we're about to go cook for a uh, kwanga the whole authentic Congolese way where you do it from scratch I've never done it never even seen it be done so my cousin brought some in Congo it's called kwanga it's basically like cassava leaf but like a different form of it I don't know how to explain it you guys are just gonna have to see Good morning guys, today is Sunday, it's 12 o'clock huh? and we have a lot of cooking to do and we just, as you guys saw, we just lit up this fire for grilling and I'll show you guys all the food that we have to cook but memorial service and we are just trying to do all the food and everything and then family and friends are gonna come over later tonight or this evening so stay tuned my teeth look so white my cousin put in some hard work this morning fish here we're gonna grill it's dark in here but we have chicken that we baked well i didn't bake it but it was baked in the oven ribs and more ribs in there pork oh no we don't eat pork okay well pork is in there it's really good more chicken frying in the or baking in the oven we got some plantain here frying we got some beignet Beignet is like uh, puff puff, but in French it's called beignet or mikate in Lingala. Hi! Hi. <laughs> I just Nothing. want you guys to, to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. So you're gonna see more, 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 more. It's gonna come, so you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, make sure, yes. make sure to turn off that notification so you cannot miss anything. Any information you're gonna get it from here. Yes. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. Bye.
cancel the flight um, because, of the we because of the weather it was bad well it wasn't raining or anything it was just like the it was cloudy it was very cloudy yesterday um so they canceled our flight the thing is they canceled the flight and they didn't i wasn't aware or didn't know that they canceled the flight so i came all the way um went through tsa and mind you the tsa was the longest line i've ever seen um as far as tsa pre-check goes but i got got to the line and then I went through to start like boarding my plane and literally I'm finding out there as I'm about to board that they're like, oh, your flight was canceled. I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, um, it was canceled. So I'm like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do because it was canceled? But they literally did not let me know until I got there. And it seems like I wasn't the only one who had that issue. There were like six other people who um, wasn't aware because we all showed up and our flight was canceled because of the weather. I'm like, I'm not mad at the weather. I mean, you know, you can't control that. That's nature. But just have the audacity and the decency to let people know by email or text or something. They didn't. So, Thankfully, I called my dad and he came back and picked me up. Um, they had canceled me and they put me on the next flight, which is today. So I literally went home, got, got back home at my parents' house, and I slept. I was so tired. I literally was at the airport for like three hours, um, trying to figure out if I'm going to get home yesterday or today but the lady was like oh it's gonna be a, there's a flight going at 7 p.m you'll get home at midnight um uh, i'm like you know i don't want to do that because then that means i have to stay here at the airport the whole time until 7 which at the time it was like 2 p.m so i'm like i'm not sitting here for for um four hours so um i ended up going home slept up at 4 a.m. 4 15 a.m. this morning because my flight the flight that put me on was leaving at 6 o'clock so I woke up at 4 15 um, and I'm in the same clothes from yesterday because I literally did not unpack anything I was just like this is ridiculous but it's okay um, I'm gonna go home eat and go to sleep and that is exactly what I did here we are got to the airport at like 5 20 went through TSA really fast, literally no one was in, well there was a lot of people in line, but it was just like, when, instead of us standing and waiting, we like went through, had a layover in Atlanta for like an hour, and then here we are, I was tired, I literally only got 30 minutes of sleep, because it's all good, because we made it home, um, thankfully I didn't have to work today, because I do work tomorrow, Friday, this is Thursday, yeah. So Thursday and Friday, which I'm not looking forward to because I do have to get up at 4 a.m. again because I work at 5 30. So I just have to go to sleep early tonight. It's the life I chose, y'all.